Hey guys, I'm back giving you an update video on the MPP Solar split phase. I got it up and going, had it been going about a week. Let's go through some of the functions on it. Focus. Alright, that's your first screen. Screen number one, telling your input voltage and your output voltage. I have been running this on nothing but solar panels and batteries. I got it hooked into the main box, but I haven't been running it on the main box. I wanted to see if we could just run primarily off-grid. So we've been doing that for the last week, and I haven't used any power out of the grid for a whole week. We've been running everything on here, the washer, the dryer, my dryer's gas. We were running the microwave, all the TVs. We got a, a, um, a 10,000, I think it's 12,000 BTU window air conditioner upstairs. And it's been running off of here. And um, all the lights. The lights outdoors, it's uh, one, two, three, four, it's five outdoor lights, stay the LEDs, and it's um, running. I don't know if you heard it kick up, but that was that air condition kicking in upstairs. But let's go through some of the settings on it. You got AC one input and output. On the left hand side where you see that zero, that is where the, um, if you have voltage coming in from the grid, that would tell you what your voltage is. And we go to the next one. Next screen, that's uh, AC2 on uh, your, that'll be on your uh, line one and line two. This here is your Hertz, your AC Hertz. That's your AC Hertz on number two. Then you have your input. Your input from your PV. PV input. It's zero because it's about like uh, nine o'clock right now. Got PV2 input. Now this right here is your load. We got on L1. We got a uh, hundred watts and uh, this here is L2 because that air condition kicked in and it's pulling 1,120 uh, watts right now. And we go here, you got your percentage on L1 this is your percentage on L2 is running uh, 46 percent then you got right here is your battery voltage your battery voltage is uh, 55.0 then you got your battery voltage on the left and you got how many amps is coming out of the battery on your right so it's pulling 23 amps out of the battery with everything that we got running in the house right now. And then that just starts back over again. Yep, but other than that, it's running pretty good. I love it. This thing is super quiet. It's nothing like the old 2424 pips. And as you can see, it's looking pretty nice hanging up there on the wall. Everything's completely done. I moved all my units, well this unit, out here in the garage. The other ones was in the in the little closet where the batteries is. I will get you some video of the batteries. Just a second, hold on. Okay, I'm back. Here's the battery. We got, uh, this is uh, Nissan Leaf batteries, and uh, we got 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven batteries in parallel. So we got seven stacks in parallel, seven stacks in parallel, seven stacks in parallel, seven stacks in parallel, seven stacks, seven more, and seven more in parallel right here. And then we have them running across. This is the negative. This is the positive over here. And the positive is going in and going to the breaker there and going out to the inverter. And then you have the ground connected to this hot circuit. It goes through all these batteries here, comes up and comes across, comes back down, and then it comes across here. And it continues to do that all the way down all the way to the end down here and that makes a 48 volt bank and when this bank is fully charged it's 58.1 volts I normally only charge it to about maybe 90 to 95 percent I don't go over that and I don't take it down no lower than uh, 40.8 uh, percent I mean not percent volts so I charge them up to about 47.2 to 47.4 volts and I discharge them no lower than 40.8 uh, between 7 and 8 40.7 or 40.8 volts around in there now let me show you this I've been on the internet looking about BMSs, and I uh, was thinking that I might need a BMS, but look at this. I've been monitoring this for the last week, and let's go to here. Three point nine eight, Hard to do this when I'm holding the camera. Three point nine seven. Three point nine seven nine eight. Three point nine seven nine eight. That's this one. Jump over to these two. Three point nine seven nine eight. Let me show you. Jumping over to these two. 3.9798. I've been checking this every day, twice a day, once in the morning and once in the evening. And these things have been reading perfect every time within one, no more than two points of each other. And I very rarely see it two points. It might be um, maybe point zero one. So I'm thinking I keep monitoring. If it start getting out of balance, I will order a BMS. But as of now, I don't think I need it. It's staying so close. But we'll figure it out. But this is the battery bank right here. And it's uh, 49, I believe. 49 Nissan Leaf batteries. And the voltage of each one of these cells is 8.3 fully charged. So, alright YouTube, that's just a little update on everything. Alright, see.